Here are some commentaries on how to understand the electric field in terms of analogies with gravity. In terms of forces, both are inverse square laws. In the case of gravity, the force is directly proportional to the product of the masses. For the Coulomb force, it is proportional to the product of the charges. Gravitational force is always attractive. The Coulomb force may be repulsive for like charges, but attractive for opposite charges. It is important to understand the difference between the forces when it comes to applying Newton's second law. For small particles, such as an electron, the Coulomb force is much, much greater than gravitational force, and hence the weight can be neglected. It also means that when calculating for acceleration, we must include considerations for both charge and mass. Next, consider the electric field. In the field treatment, we don't consider a force acting between charges, rather a charge creating a field in which other particles will respond. This is applicable if the second particle is so much smaller than the primary particle that its effect will produce negligible alterations to the field. This second particle is then called a test particle. For gravitational force, there is no specified quantity for this, but it would be equivalent to dividing out the smaller mass. This way, we can predict the movement of small mass objects around larger objects. Note that in both cases, the field is still a vector, hence the direction matters. Next, consider potential. Warning, the quantities of both potential energy and potential are scalars. For gravity, its potential energy can be derived via the work function against the gravitational force. 
when graphed, it will give us a curve that increases the energy with distance. Locally, it can be approximated as a linear function increasing with height. One can then define a potential per test mass that is inversely proportional to the distance. Locally, it can be thought of as going downhill. Then, by conservation of energy, for potential energy lost, we gain kinetic energy. For height lost, we speed up. Potential for Coulomb's law, we divide out the test charge. Notice the similarities. The farther we go, the more downhill on the potential curve we go. You can think of going up or down a potential in terms of a water flow. Gravitational potential goes from high to low from a higher height H1 to a lower height H2. If we input energy into the system with a water pump, we can start the flow from a higher height again. In an electric circuit, we start our height based on our power source, giving us V1. Each time it goes through some resistance, it will lose potential, hence go down the voltage curve. We can pump the voltage back up with another power source.